Neo.co.uk are here at the world premiere of St Trinian's 2 and The Legend of Fritton's Gold. Featuring Girls Aloud star Sarah Harding's film debut and plenty of scantily clad women, a group of mischievous girls embark on a treasure quest to find the legendary Fritton's Gold. St Trinian's School prepares girls for the world. Tabitha, when you lift heavy objects, always keep your back straight. <laughs> but who prepares the world for St Trinian's? The girls are back. We had a real giggle with the girls. It was actually like really being back in school because the, the first AD Mel and the directors, they had to tell us to shh quite a lot because we tend to just, you know, hang around a lot waiting for filming and gossiping and they're like, quiet girls! And we're like, oh, 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 I feel really like I'm at school. It's quite weird, but it was good fun. Rupert and Colin are like the double act from like Comedy Central, they're amazing. Um, Rupert, he's got such a dry wit and he's constantly fiddling with his lady bits, you know, like adjusting like when you're doing normal batty. And it, you know, it's hard work being a woman, isn't it, Rupert? He's brilliant, he's so fantastic and he really brings the script to life. I mean, you read it and it's funny, but then when he does it, it's just a whole ball game. And I had to stop myself from laughing off, off, off the screen when they, they were rolling, because but I just, he's just brilliant. What was it like working with so many girls who said, they all get on, or was it a bit raucous offset as well? That's right. So the 24 <laughs> no, I had to hide in a kind of poke mobile from uh, the things flying around. Yeah, you know, I, I, but, uh, I like the first film, I always thought there was going to be much more bitching and much more sort of thrusting forward girls pushing each other out of the way. And they all looked to be like total friends of each other. It was a really, really nice atmosphere. This group bonded incredibly well. So you have sort of two groups of girls. One is the, the main girls who are sort of in every day. And they all just got on like House of Fell from day one. And then the other is you have all the extras who come in. And what's extraordinary about them is they'll come in as nice, polite girls. You put them in the uniform and they become, you know, wild, feral beasts, you know, within seconds. With more attitude. In your face. In your face. New discoveries. We just got something really suspicious in the library. I didn't know we had a library. And an ancient legend. This guy offered twenty thousand pounds for a ring from the Fritton archives. You have twenty-four hours. What's he after? Legend of the Fritton Girl. Cutchin! Let's get our Gucci on. My parents used to call me a St. Trinium's girl because I'd lose my hat and lose a shoe and get really muddy and you know, that sort of thing. Can you tell us about your role in the film? Yeah, well Annabelle now becomes head girl, so she's gone from new girl to head girl in, in one film. Um, and uh, she's having to grow up a little bit um, with her new role. Um, but she unfortunately gets possessed by one of her ancestors. So, um. <laughs> well, I play Matron, which is the most unglamorous part in the world. But I have a crush on Colin, which is not difficult to play, of course. And, um, and we have a wonderful time, actually. But uh, I decided that I wasn't going to look like Matron tonight, so that's the dress. <laughs> Rupert Everett, David Tennant, Colin Firth, <laughs> Tallulah Riley, Sarah Harding, and Gemma Arterton. The woman couldn't do a man's job. Says who? See Trinian's 2, The Legend of Fritton's Gold. In 